The energy crackled in the air. It was electric. The anticipation was palpable, and the excitement was contagious. From the bustling streets of New York City, where the heartbeat of the city seemed to sink with the fans' excitement, to the sunny shores of Los Angeles, where the laid-back vibe was replaced with a tense anticipation, the air was thick with expectation. This was more than just a game. It was the Yankees versus the Dodgers, a rivalry steeped in history and tradition. Two storied franchises, two passionate fan bases, two cities ready to erupt. The stakes were high, and the pride of each city was on the line. At Yankee Stadium, the roar of the crowd was deafening. The fans, a sea of navy blue, were a force to be reckoned with. The ghosts of legends past seemed to watch from the stands. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, their spirits lingered, adding to the mystique. Meanwhile, under the California sun, Dodger Stadium pulsed with its own unique energy. The fans, draped in blue and white, were ready to make their voices heard. This was baseball at its finest. The players were at the top of their game, and every moment was filled with tension and excitement. The lights seemed to shine a little brighter. The atmosphere was electric, and the stage was set for an unforgettable showdown. The grass couldn't have been greener. The field was a pristine canvas, ready for the drama to unfold. Tonight, these two titans would clash in a battle for baseball supremacy. The tension was palpable, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Every pitch, every swing, every catch would be etched into the memories of fans forever. The players knew that every move they made could be the difference between victory and defeat. This was the World Series, the pinnacle of baseball, where legends are made and history is written. And it had all the makings of an instant classic. The stage was set, the players were ready, and the world was watching. The first inning began with a roar. The Yankees, playing at home in front of their fervent fans, were ready to make a statement. The leadoff hitter took a mighty swing, connecting with a fastball. The ball soared high and deep, finally landing in the right field bleachers. The crowd erupted, a wave of cheers washing over the stadium. The Yankees drew first blood. The Dodgers, however, were unfazed. They took the field with determination, ready to quiet the boisterous crowd. But the Yankee bats were hot. Another hit, this time a double, sent another runner into scoring position. Before the Dodgers could catch their breath, the Yankees struck again. A single up the middle brought another run home. The Bronx Bombers were living up to their name, taking an early 2-0 lead. The Dodgers refused to be intimidated. They had a legacy to uphold and a fan base that believed in their ability to turn the tide. They had faced adversity before, countless times in their storied history, and had always come out swinging, no matter the odds stacked against them. Their leadoff hitter stepped into the batter's box, a look of steely determination in his eyes. He knew the weight of the moment and the importance of setting the tone for the inning. He took a ball, then a strike, patiently waiting for his pitch. The crowd held its breath, sensing something big was about to happen. Then, he unleashed a swing that sent the ball screaming into the gap. The sound of the bat meeting the ball echoed through the stadium. The Dodger runner slid into second base with a double, injecting life back into the Dodger dugout. The energy was palpable, and the momentum was shifting. The next batter worked a walk, putting runners on first and second with nobody out. The pressure was mounting on the Yankees. The Yankee lead, once seemingly comfortable, suddenly felt precarious. The tension in the air was thick as the Dodgers continued their rally. The Dodgers, with their trademark resilience, were chipping away. They knew that every at-bat, every pitch, and every play could be the turning point. A single up the middle brought home the Dodgers' first run of the game. The crowd erupted, and the players fed off the energy. The deficit was cut in half. The scoreboard reflected the shift in momentum, and the Dodgers were far from done. The Dodger faithful, both at home and in Yankee Stadium, roared their approval. The game was on, and the Dodgers were ready to fight until the last out. As the game settled into a tense rhythm, a pitching duel for the ages began to unfold. On the mound for the Yankees was their ace, a veteran known for his pinpoint control and devastating slider. He was locked in a battle of wits and skill with the Dodgers' young phenom. The Dodger pitcher, unfazed by the bright lights and the pressure of the moment, countered with a blazing fastball and a knee-buckling curveball. Inning after inning, the two pitchers traded zeros on the scoreboard. Every pitch was a chess match, each pitcher trying to outthink and outmaneuver the other. The crowd, sensing the gravity of the moment, watched with bated breath. This was a classic pitcher's duel, a battle of wills that would be remembered for years to come. Section 5. Pinstripes Take Charge 
The tension in the air was palpable. It was the bottom of the fourth inning, and the Yankees, clinging to their slim lead, were threatening once again. A leadoff walk put a runner on base, and the heart of the Yankee order was coming to the plate. The Dodger pitcher dug deep, trying to escape the jam, but the Yankee bats were relentless. A double down the left field line brought home two more runs for the Yankees, extending their lead to 4-1. to one. The crowd at Yankee Stadium went wild. The Dodgers, once again, found themselves with their backs against the wall. The game, it seemed, was slipping away. Section 6. Boys in Blue Clawback The Dodgers, however, were not done yet. Despite the odds stacked against them, they had a history of resilience and grit. This was a team that thrived under pressure, and tonight was no different. They had battled back before, and they were determined to do it again. The players knew that every pitch, every swing, and every play could turn the tide. The energy in the dugout was electric, filled with a sense of purpose and unity. In the top of the fifth inning, they mounted their counterattack. The tension was palpable as the Dodgers stepped up to the plate, each player focused and ready to make a difference. A leadoff single, followed by a walk, put two runners on base with nobody out. The crowd could feel the momentum shifting, and the anticipation grew with every pitch. The Yankee pitcher, feeling the pressure, made a mistake. His control wavered, and the Dodgers seized the opportunity. He left a fastball up in the zone, and the Dodger batter did not miss it. With a powerful swing, the ball was sent rocketing off the bat. The crack of the bat echoed through the stadium as the ball soared high and deep into the night sky. Fans held their breath, eyes glued to the ball's trajectory. It was a three-run home run, tying the game at 4-4. Four four. The momentum had shifted. The Dodgers had turned the game on its head with one swing. The Dodger dugout erupted in celebration. Players jumped and high-fived, their faces lit up with joy and determination. They had clawed their way back from the brink. This was the moment they had been waiting for, and they were ready to seize it. The game was anyone's to win. Both teams knew that the next few innings would be crucial, and the tension in the stadium was at an all-time high. The stage was set for an epic showdown. Section 7, Leather Flashing, Runs Denied. The sixth inning showcased the defensive prowess of both teams. The Yankees, with runners on first and second, threatened to break the tie. But the Dodger shortstop had other ideas. He ranged to his left, snagging a hard-hit ground ball deep in the hole. In one fluid motion, he flipped the ball to second base, starting an inning-ending double play. Not to be outdone, the Yankees responded with their own defensive gem in the bottom half of the inning. A Dodger hitter ripped a line drive headed for the gap, but the Yankee center fielder, with a burst of speed, tracked it down and made a spectacular diving catch. The crowd roared its approval. Both teams were playing with heart and determination, refusing to give an inch. As the game entered the late innings, the tension was palpable. Every pitch, every swing, every out carried the weight of a season's worth of hopes and dreams. The Dodgers, drawing on their resilience, managed to tie the game at 4-4 in the top of the seventh inning. The Yankee Stadium crowd, once so boisterous, was now hushed with nervous anticipation. The seventh inning came and went without further incident. The game, a taut, back-and-forth affair, headed to the eighth inning still deadlocked. The pressure was mounting, and both teams knew that one swing of the bat could decide the outcome of this epic battle. The bottom of the eighth inning arrived, and the Yankees were determined to regain the lead. Their leadoff hitter worked a walk, bringing the go-ahead run to the plate. The tension was thick enough to cut with a knife. The Dodger pitcher, however, remained calm and collected. He bore down, striking out the next two batters, bringing the crowd to their feet in a mixture of hope and anxiety. With two outs and a runner on first, the fate of the game rested on the shoulders of the next Yankee hitter. He swung and missed at a breaking ball, then fouled off a fastball. The count was even at two and two. The next pitch, a fastball on the outside corner, caught the edge of the strike zone. Strike three. The inning was over. The top of the ninth inning began with a sense of dread for Yankee fans. Their team, once so close to victory, was now on the ropes. The first two Dodger batters reached base, bringing the go-ahead run to the plate with nobody out. The Yankee closer, brought in to shut the door, seemed to have lost his command. Then, it happened. The Dodger batter, facing a 3-1 count, unleashed a swing that sent a shockwave through Yankee Stadium. The ball soared high and deep, finally landing in the right field bleachers for a three-run home run. The Dodger dugout emptied in a frenzy of joyous celebration. 
The Yankee faithful, their hopes dashed, sat in stunned silence. The Dodgers, fueled by their ninth-inning outburst, shut down the Yankees in the bottom half of the inning, securing a dramatic come-from-behind victory. The final score, Dodgers 7, Yankees 4. As the Dodger players celebrated on the field, their fans, both at home and in Yankee Stadium, erupted in jubilation. They had done it. They had overcome adversity, battled back from deficits, and emerged victorious in one of the most thrilling World Series games in recent memory. The Dodgers, crowned champions under the bright lights of October, had etched their names into baseball lore.